morning everyone. I hope that you and your families are doing well. I very much look forward to being able to see you soon in the corridors and could say good morning or ask you how your day has gone. Possibly I might even be asking you to tuck your shirts in or to wear your blazers correctly. Here at King's we've got many values and resilience is one of those important values that we try to promote as much as possible among our students and our staff. And never has there been a more poignant time to reflect on our levels of resilience. Resilience is something that we all have within us, but sometimes we don't really realise how resilient we can be until we're faced with the types of challenges that we're having to face at the moment. Before I talk to you a little bit more about resilience, this week I was talking to some of my year eight students and I was asking them on how they're spending their time during this time apart. Here's what they had to say. I have more flexibility when it comes to doing all of our classes. Definitely getting more sleep. Eating. Cooking with my family. Not having to wear a uniform. Working in bed. Our heroes. Sleeping. I liked sleeping more. I only hope that some of the year eight students are finding enough time to do their classwork when they're not sleeping. Also this week, I was thinking about how we might remember this event in the future. Some of our own family members, maybe even some of your sons and daughters might be reading about it in their history books in years to come, or even learning about it in their geography lessons or discussing it in psychology. Some of our economics teachers might even be using it as a case study of how global economies responded to such a global and modern day pandemic. While doing this, I was asking some of my year 13s how they felt this event might be remembered in the future, but also I asked them to consider who they might think are the people who have shown the greatest level of resilience at this time. Again, here's what they had to say. So as a student and individual currently at quarantine due to the coronavirus pandemic, I wanted uh, to reflect and point out a group of workers that will be positively remembered in the future amongst their communities in future school textbooks and even in newspapers. And that's why I chose the healthcare workers. So the doctors, the nurses and the support staff. This is because they risk becoming infected themselves, but they also risk infecting their own families due to the extraordinary sacrifices they're doing to take care for the rest of us. That's why many people, including me, we, re we regard them as our own heroes. And you can also um, hear some of the stories that the nurses and doctors are suffering. For example, some of them have been resorted to wearing garbage bags as protective gear due to the lack of resources and mis uh, mismanagement of the state. That's why the World Health Day, which has always been observed the 7th of April, has decided to dedicate and honor this day to the army of nurses and doctors which have been caught up in fighting uh, this virus. And as everyone's struggling to find the, the right words, to thank them and to gratitude them, uh, I thought I would say, like every civilian says when someone goes to war, which is thank you for your service. For many Spanish right now, the coronavirus crisis calls to mind events like the 2008 financial crisis and the 11M, events that have sadly reshaped our society. In the future, we will commemorate the unity of societies, the resilience from our heroes working at the front line, and the effort of all citizens battling against COVID-19. I think this is something we will all appreciate. As you can see, many frontline workers around the world are showing the greatest and most enormous levels of resilience. But standing here today, some of the people that I'm most proud of in showing great levels of resilience are you. You have been wonderful in the last few weeks and shown certain levels of resilience, which probably you didn't even think were possible. And I'm sure that you'll continue to do so in the weeks to come. We will also have a time in months to come to reflect and also to evaluate our role in meeting the challenges of this pandemic. This week, I hope that you have a good week 
and I also hope that you look after yourselves and look after your families and stay safe. Take care.